Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question here. It says, need suggestion for a friend. That's the heading of the email. This is in from Deb. It says, hey Matt, a friend of mine wants to go full frame from the D7100. So that's the Nikon DX D7100. I suggested a D100E, but another person told him to go for the D750. Can you please explain what differences he will get from the D7100 going to the D7500 versus the 810 or the 800E? I shall send a link to, uh, to your reply to him. Thanks in advance. Sincerely, Deb. Well, thanks for your question, Deb. Um, 7100 is a great camera. 7500, all you're really going to get in a difference there is the ability to shoot 4K, which is big if you do video. Um, and you're going to get a little bit better uh, high ISO ability, but you're also losing some resolution. You're going to 20 megapixels from 24. Uh, so I personally, for me, uh, not sure I would go from a 7100 to a 7500 unless that's all I had and I, and I for video and I wanted to do 4K video. I have other options for that, so it's probably not the way I would go. Um, the 810-800E, you're getting a more pro body. You're getting a full frame sensor, so better high ISO and a bunch more uh, image quality because we're into 36 megapixels. So not only full frame, but also cleaner. You got the ability to separate your background with shallower depth of field because you're a full frame 35 millimeter sensor instead of the crop sensor, which applies that crop factor. So that a full frame sensor is always going to make use of, uh, or I should say make use of, but when you put a full frame lens on it, there's no crop factor, which also means that you have a um, shallower depth of field available to you than if you're using that same lens on a DX or a crop sensor body. Uh, you've also that 36 megapixel sensor in there is beautiful. It's a lot more resolution. It's super clean. It's cleaner than the 7100. Um, it's just a beautiful camera. I would I would love an 800E or an 810 is a great body to go to. Um, so that's that's what I would do uh, myself over the 7500 with the caveat that unless you really need video and you need 4K, then the 7500 is the way to go because the 810 or the 800E doesn't have that. So that's very good 1080. And if you need video, the 1080 is fine in there. It's very good, actually. But it doesn't do 4K. So there's my answer to you. I actually will be, I have the 7500 has just come in. I'm going to be reviewing it. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me throw it back to our viewers. What would you guys do? He's got a 7100, wants to upgrade, wants to know what the differences between the 7500 and the 810 or the 800E are. Which way would you go and why? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help him out. Um, thanks for your question, Deb. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.